In today's video, I'm going to show you how to apply a skim coat to walls that look like the walls behind me. They're in very, very rough shape and they need to be restored. And I'm going to show you a trick of the trade to get the walls, like the walls behind me, looking smooth, smooth as glass, all right? And all without ever picking up a piece of sandpaper. That's right, I'm going to show you a technique where you can smooth out a wall without ever sanding. So I want you to hang around because I guarantee you're going to learn a trick that you'll never forget. I recently got at the kitchen at the Ugly House. I had to remove the ceramic tile, but in doing so, it damaged the walls. And well, now the walls need to be skimmed. All right, this is the material I'm gonna be using. This is a setting type joint compound. It's a 90, which means it's gonna give me 90 minutes of working time. And working time is not to be confused with drying time. Now I'm using a 90 because I need a lot of time to skim out three walls. If it was just a small patch, I would use 45. And if it was just a small hole, I would use 20 because I would need less time to get the material on the wall. Now you're gonna need a drill. It can be cordless like this one here or it can be corded. And you're also gonna need a mixing wand like this here. Now this is a small mixing wand because I'm really not mixing up a lot. But if you've got a lot to mix, you may wanna go with the larger mixing wand like this one here. Now you'll always wanna make certain that you use a clean bucket like this one here and clean, cool water. Now always make certain that you add your setting type joint compound to the water, not the other way around where you're adding water to the setting type joint compound. You'll get a much nicer mix this way. Now these are the tools I'm gonna be using. So what we've got is we've got a margin trowel it's for tight areas and it's an all purpose trowel. Taping knife. This is what we call a birdie, a butterfly, or you may just know it as a corner trowel. We're gonna get some really nice crisp corners, or we like to call them angles in the trade, with this tool right here. Next, we have a plaster's finish trowel, not a drywaller's trowel. This is what's called a finish trowel. And the difference is this right here, it's nice and flat. Whereas if it was a drywaller's trowel, it'd have a little bit of bow in it in the blade for taping purposes. Well, this is what's called a hawk. I'm gonna use this to hold my mud as I apply it to the wall. So let's take it off the hawk. And I just basically want to get as much mud on the wall as I possibly can. I'm not going to worry too much about whether or not it's smooth. We're just getting it on. Don't worry about imperfections. Don't worry about whether or not it's smooth. That comes later. And we'll take care of the imperfections once our plaster starts to set. Once you get your repair area completely covered, now it's time to start smoothing the plaster out. Now you're still going to have some dips and some imperfections, but we'll take care of that. All right, our plaster now is firm to the touch. It's, it's not dry because you can feel moisture in the wall. Now this is what's called the scratch coat. That's why we don't worry about it being perfect other than we need to knock down all our high spots. You just take a taping knife and, and knock down these high spots here. Take my finish trowel like this, and then I just oh. drag it across. And that helps me eliminate high spots as well. Now once your plaster gets to the point where it's feeling, well, firm yet damp, now you don't want it to be dry, you want it to feel damp to the touch, it's time to double up. And what doubling up is, is when you just take just a wee bit of plaster, just a small amount, 
and you skim over the existing surface. Now, what this does is it's going to help eliminate all those blemishes, the imperfections, the dips, the low points, the lines, and it's going to get that plaster going in the right direction where we're heading down the finish for that glass-like surface. Now we have a rather smooth finish here. Now let me share that pro tip, that trick of the trade. And what it's called is water troweling. And it's when you use water instead of sandpaper to smooth out a wall to get that glass-like finish that you really can't get with sandpaper. And then of course you've got to, you know, you've got to contend with, well, dust. This allows you to use water and a trowel to lay down the plaster so it is as smooth as smooth can be. You can also use the brush to work out any imperfections you come across. Now I brought you in close because I want you to see just how smooth the surface of this wall is and we did it all without sanding but we water troweled instead. Once you've cleaned your tools, it's always a good idea to spray them down with a little oil. That's gonna help prevent rust between uses. Now, if you found this video helpful, can I encourage you? Can I encourage you to subscribe to CJ Drill? You know, we're just a few thousand away from our gold play button. And I gotta tell you, it would mean the world. This is Leah saying you, you can do this. See you next time.